Hello, I'm Joe Rimmelsbach in the Department of Plant Pathology at Ohio State University and welcome to this week's Turf Tips. It's middle of August and it's an amazing weather. Today it's sunny, it's beautiful out here. As I was doing some diagnostic work this morning at a local golf course, I actually wore a jacket, which I can't believe. So enjoy the weather. And with that nice weather, though, there are still some diseases that are problematic out there. But before we talk about that, I just want to mention thank you for everyone that attended the uh, field days last week. They were great, very successful. We had many people here. It was very enjoyable. If you have suggestions or things you liked or uh, things you'd like to see, please let us know. So as far as diseases this week, the two biggies are dollar spot, and we'll show you some pictures of that. I thought it was uh, quite outstanding last week for field day, but this week it actually has actually increased significantly. And then the other disease is rust. So on dollar spot, make sure you're ahead of the game as far as um, applications. Um, if it gets out in front of you, it's going to be hard to rein in. You have to use more frequent applications. I hear a lot of people saying that things aren't lasting very long. You have to bring up the rates. Um, if they have any problems with resistance, those are all going to show up and be intensified. Um, rust is kind of a similar situation. Once you have it, it's almost too late to do a whole lot about it. So if you're managing areas with rust, whether it be a lawn, sports field, whatever, um, if you can increase fertility along with water to make sure the turf grows, you could probably do more good than trying to make an application of some fungicide. If you don't have rust yet and you want to prevent it, then now is the time to make a fungicide application and, get, and stay ahead of the uh, disease problem. Minor diseases, we had two kind of unusual things this last week. We had uh, at least one case of yellow tuft, uh, kind of in a wet area. So if you're, if you're watering, you have some wet spots for whatever reason, you might see yellow tuft. It's a, remember, it's in the Pythium type family. It's an old mycete. And so um, if you're going to spray for it, make sure you use the appropriate fungicide that works on that group. And then the other uh, disease that we had a minor case of is uh, curvularia. We, have, we get samples in of weakened turf and uh, I really don't consider curvularia a major disease, but um, it, we see it on weak tissue, really weak growing turf. With next week's weather then, as far as looking ahead, uh, you want to make sure that with, if we get the higher temperatures and humidity, diseases will keep cranking along, other ones may pop up. Um, also, if you're going to do any renovation this fall, any seating, you know, we're, right at, we're right at the window of the perfect time to do that work, so keep that in mind. So, Hope you have a great week, enjoy this beautiful weather, and we'll see you next week.